Hey everybody, let's create some flavour with Samwise Zainine for here. I've got olive bulb fishy, I've just cleaned it and made a little incision to the gut out. Now I'm gonna slice it and cook the curry. First of all we need to cut the fish, so we're gonna cut them in chops all together so get a very sharp knife, cut it all the way through. Uh, make it thick or thin, it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm making it medium pieces, so cut all the way through. Uh, to try to take the, a lot of the skin off, so we don't want it to be all the fur and everything. If you do need a scissors, use a scissors, but if you've got a sharp enough knife, it will be fine. Now pop it into a bowl, give it a little wash, it cleans all the stains and all the impurities that are in there, and then we'll start cooking. After it's cleaned, we just need to strain it. The best way to strain it is put it in a colander. Just there. And that will help it strain all the, all the, all the excess liquid so it fries very nicely. If it doesn't strain well, if it doesn't take out all the liquid, it is going to break apart. So absolutely give it a good wash, strain it thoroughly, then you're ready to go. Now you need to get a bowl. I'm using a pink one here. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, drop that in. One teaspoon of chilli powder, again it depends on the, your own taste and your own flexibility of how potent you can take it. Half a teaspoon of salt to start with, it all depends on your own taste so always try it and see if you need more, add more, if you don't, don't add more. So I'm going to put the fish in and mix it all up. All you need to do is put the fish in, rub it all with the, the spices so it gives you quite a nice look. If you do need to wet the spices, do wet the spices because it makes it more sticky. So put the fish in, give it a rub and mix it all together so it goes through all the fishes itself. So after all the spices are mixed with the fish we're going to start frying. So now let's get a frying pan. So put the gas on gas mark 4. Put the frying pan on a high heat so it heats up, so we're going to add the oil in. Now just turn the gas lower, gas mark 2. I'm going to put the olive oil in. I'm going to put about 7 to 8 tablespoons of olive oil so it goes through all the frying pan itself. So let's put the fish in. Now just drop the fish in on the oil. Watch out it can spit, so be careful. And we're going to fry this for frying process will take about approximately 5 minutes so after a minute or so turn it over so it cooks on both sides leaving it on the low gas all you need to do is just put the lid on let it cook for a minute or so then we'll turn it over now let's give it a little turn so it fries up on both sides this doesn't take a long period so we need it to fry on the both sides so all the texture and all the frying happens throughout. So there will be a two process for this curry itself. After this we'll put a few more fishes because I'm using a small frying pan. But use a large one if you want to do the whole fish itself. So when everything's fried, pop it on a plate. Now we're going to make the fish burner, so we're going to make it into a curry because we started the frying. Now you need a casserole or a saucepan, anything is fine. So put the pan on the gas mark 3, medium, will be absolutely fine. And we're going to put some oil in and put the fish in and cook it. All you need to do is add on 5 to a teaspoon of olive oil or sunflower oil. It doesn't matter which one you use but I'm using olive oil. If you have any excess oil from the frying pan, drop it in because that will give the flavour that's already in the oil itself. So put the gas on gas mark 3. Now we're going to add the ingredients in. You need to add a pinch of meti seeds all over it. That will give it a bit more of a nuttiness to it. So we need to wait till the meti seeds gone golden brown then we can add other ingredients in. Now you need to add on one and a half tablespoon of garlic paste. Pop that in, give it a little bit of a stir so it spreads all over. Now you need to add two medium sized onions sliced and diced, pop it all in, 
and give it a stir so it mixes with all the other ingredients. So add a pinch of ginger paste. Again, when you've added that in, give it all a stir. Let it infuse. Half a teaspoon of salt will be the best. If you do want to add more, just always taste it. Salt wise, it all depends on your own taste. Add a half a cup of water. And we are going to leave it approximately about three minutes. So it infuses and marinates and everything and gets more uh, squidgier. Now I take the lid off. I'm going to add a bit of the mussels in. And we're going to marinate the onion and ginger and everything for a few minutes again. I'm adding half a teaspoon of chilli. Again, this depends on taste as well. Add more if you do want to. Add a half a teaspoon of jiro powder. Again, these ingredients, you can find them in the description and you can buy them anyway. One teaspoon of coriander powder. It's one of our favourites. Half a teaspoon of curry powder. Pop that in. Get your spoon or spatula. Mix it all together. We need the oil and the liquid to come dry up and it gets a golden brown. Now just add one cup of water in there. Again after that, pop the lid back on and we are going to leave it for 3-4 minutes so that all the curry powder and everything can mix and caramelise as well. As it's gone golden brown, let's add some tomatoes in. A lot of smoke, grids it all, all over. That will give it a slight tangness and I haven't added any vegetables so it's always a good idea to add vegetables. Just add in some green chilli, put it all over. Again these are quite spicy, you can use pepper if you want to but green chilli is fine because I like it spicy. Now we're going to put the, now drop the fish in, put it in flat so it doesn't break up. As you can see it's gone golden brown, it's bubbling away, it's been on gas mark free throughout the cooking wise. And it, as you hope, can't smell it but it does smell very nice. Drop it in and we're going to put it all in, let it infuse with the curry as itself. Put the lid back on, we're going to leave it for about 3-4 minutes to cook slowly. Leave it on gas mark free, that will be fine. So about 5-6 minutes it should be bubbling away, it's all ready to plate up. So let's get some plates and enjoy. After you're plated, this is what it should look like. How good does that look? Now you need some bashmati rice or any rice and start enjoying with the family. Enjoy everybody. If you liked uh, what you've seen here, give it a thumbs up. Ingredient details will be in the description. This is Creating Flavour with Sunwise1884 signing out. Goodbye and hope to see you in another episode. Bye bye.